Hi and welcome to the Azam Shop channel on YouTube. I'm your host Mohammad Azam and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the UI Split View Controller uh, with the use of storyboards. Now UI Split View Controller is uh, available for iPad applications only so if you try to use it in uh, in an iPhone application it is going to basically you know it's going to throw an exception. The purpose of UI Split View Controller is that when you're dealing with iPhone you have a limited amount of real estate uh, but when you are dealing with iPad you have a lot of real estate and then UI Split View Controllers allows you to control two different view controllers side by side okay and that's what we're going to implement using the storyboarding so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically delete this view controller because we are not really going to use it or I'm just going to uh, here we go and going to drag a UI through. Now this this will be a little bit maybe long because I'm going to uh, do everything from scratch so this might be a little bit long sc uh, screencast. So here we go now when I drag this on the screen uh, on the storyboard you can see there are different things that are being added okay. Um, so this one which is the let me see if I can zoom in so this one which is the table view controller and all, all of this is, has been added by default of course, right? I just dragged it from the toolbox. Um, so the table view controller basically this is the master. This will be on the left hand side. Usually it's on the left hand side and you select some things. Let's say I select Bria or I select Fresno and the details of this will be displayed in this controller which is called the view controller. Okay, this particular area. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's how the, uh, you know, the split view controller actually works. Okay. So let's make this uh, zoom out a little bit. And what, what happens if I run it? Let's, let's run it and see what happens. Well, it's going to take some time. But by default, this is the details controller. So the, all the details, if I select something over here, all the details will be displayed in this particular view. And this view is pretty much like visible all the time. And when you see, when, when the application or uh, emulator actually runs, you will see that this is the you know view that is actually being displayed. You will see that the master view, the table view, that is not being displayed but uh, here we go so what we see over here is the details view which is right over here okay um, and to further confirm that what we are going to do is we are just going to uh, drop a label over here maybe come on here we go and go ahead and set the property of the label to let's say detail Okay, and run it, and you'll see that the, it says detail, which means that the detail view controller is by default it is being displayed. Okay, if I, oops, let's see, if I move it around, you'll see that the detail view controller is actually being still being displayed. Okay. And we're going to see a different thing because when you actually rotate it into landscape mode from portrait mode and all those two different modes, the display actually changes. Okay, and we are going to see that how, uh, you know, what Apple advocates you to do. The first thing to do is I'm going to add two different, two uh, view controllers. So I'm just going to say over here, a new file. And uh, this is a UI view controller. It will be a table view controller. I'm just going to call it master view controller. And this will be the left hand side of the, you know, of the iPad screen, basically. This will be the master. Um, let's move it over here. Here we go. Um, uh, what I'm going to do now is to assign the master to one of these view controllers. And this, uh, as I already told you, the table view controller it will be displayed on the left hand side like over here and this will be considered the master so I'm just going to change the class show why it doesn't fit here we go and change the class to master view controller that we just added okay and let's build this um, another thing let me see if this is the table view controller, right yeah so another class that I'm going to add will be a normal view controller so let's go ahead and do that just going to say uh, detail 
view controller and this will be responsible for displaying the details it will be a normal UI view controller I'm going to add that and in a similar way going to the master and um, if I click over here I'm just going to change this to detail view controller there we go let's build this so everything is okay all right now the the UI split view controller what will happen is the um, it has certain delegates okay and what we will do is our detail view controller will handle those delegates so I can say UI uh, split view controller delegate okay and this will be responsible for you know adding different kind of events and everything two events that we want to handle are the will hide view controller and will show view controller okay so let me go ahead and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to implement those methods I think I have those methods somewhere lying around let me see if I can copy paste that and let so save some time and then explain what's going on there we go and let's move that so a couple of things that we need to add so let's actually add those things first okay so in this we what we need is a toolbar so I can simply go over here and create a toolbar what is it a self -load toolbar okay so we can go over here property non atomic strong uh, IB outlet UI toolbar and we can simply call it toolbar okay and we are going to declare the toolbar over here what happened over here property implementation and declaration I think I just declared it right oh IB outlet there we go so that is done uh, the other thing that we need is a master pop-up controller okay um, and we can actually use the UI pop-up controller class for that so UI what we can declare over here which is master what is it called master pop-up controller Uh, there we go okay let's actually compile this or run this compile this okay everything good so what this is actually doing is uh, actually let me actually first connect also the toolbar which we don't have right so if we go over here in the detail let's see we can see that there is no toolbar so we are going to add a toolbar why is it so uh, okay it's not going to add yeah, that's one of the things you have to uh, you have to adjust the size to get these things get these things added okay let's see if it's added correctly so if I do like this here we go now you'll see that the item over here is on the uh, you know this left hand side or something we can simply move it to the other side um, what is it called flexible space so what you do is you just add a flexible space over here and uh, now you'll see that your item has now moved on to the uh, right hand side uh, you can I think also change the whatever like the uh, properties of the item it says item right now we're just gonna say menu or something we're not gonna deal with this actually all right okay and um, let's uh, go ahead and see if we can we can uh, do a little bit of all right 
that's kind of weird. I mean, because um, okay, let's see. So we have the navigation controller, detail view controller. We have a uh, the toolbar. Okay, and uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to join the toolbar now to the property that we have. So this is our detail view controller. If I simply pop it out, my double click or something, you'll see that this is our toolbar our outlet and it has not really been joined with the toolbar. So I'm just going to join this to the toolbar itself. So now the delegate has been set correctly. I'll save this. And um, let's go to this. Okay, so what this is actually doing is that it's uh, the you when you use the UI split view controller delegate, uh, these are the two events, apart from the other events, these are the two events that you can actually use. Will hide view controller and will show view controller. Okay? And um, what it does uh, do is when you are in, uh, you know, uh, when you have your toolbar being displayed, it adds a button to it. Okay? And when you click on the button, let's say the customers, so that means you run it. It's, it, won't, it, it might not display, it, it won't display actually right now. Uh, let me over here. So you can see that the button is not really displaying over here. But what will happen is that there will be a button over here, say customers, and when you click on it, it will pop up a pop up view controller. Okay? And that is kind of like the recommended approach uh, from the point of Apple. And when you move the controller over here, and actually now you can see, see, see what happened? I mean, it changed it into a UI uh, table view controller. Okay, and I didn't really do anything. I just, uh, if I rotate it, it automatically changes it to these things. Okay, and what we need to do over here is we need to add a customer's button. So when we click on the customer's button, instead of displaying like a column over here it's going to display a pop over or a pop-up layer okay and then from there you can select customers cool so let's go ahead and do that um, we are going to go to the app delegate and did finish launching okay we're going to let's see UI split view controller and then uh, split view controller equal to the UI split view controller and then we have self dot window dot root view controller because the root view controller is the split view controller itself and now we can say split view controller dot delegate I'm just uh, saying that what kind of events I mean who will be responsible for you know implementing those events and then you have to go to view controllers hierarchy and the last object will be the details view controller okay let's go ahead and run this see what happens so here we go we have our customers and now it's really cool right I mean when I click on a customer uh, it actually shows me a root view controller now it, it's a pop popover uh, menu or whatever you want to call it and it displays a table view controller okay currently the table view controller is empty we can actually populate it um, so let me go ahead and add a class um, let's say an objective C class now this one uh, what I'm doing right now you have already done like number of times if you go ahead and watch the old tutorials I have usually covered this in great detail that how you can, you know, implement these things. Uh, so, so we have a customer, and um, it will be a, it will just simply hold a name. So I'm just going to say ns string. This will be copy because it's a string, and then it will be a name. Okay, um, just going to go ahead and declare that as or synthesize that name okay so we have our name being declared and uh, it's the master view controller which is uh, basically responsible for adding these things so what I'm going to do is go to the master view controller and I can actually add a property over here um, 
I mean, if I want to expose a property, but I'm, I can also say, let's say over here in NS mutable array. And I'm just going to say this is a customer's array. Okay. And uh, what I'm trying to do is right now is simply to, you know, load the, uh, load uh, some of the, uh, what is that called? The customers. I'm just going to go over here, import customer. Okay. And you have already done this, as I said earlier. I mean, a lot of, uh, number of times. So now I'm just going to make a customer object. I'm just going to say customer number one equal to customer and then uh, you can simply say customer one dot name and I'm going to say over here let's say I don't know John Doe and simply copy this uh, like multiple times change the names usually this data will be coming from maybe a web service or from persisting storage like a database but for the sake of simplicity we are just uh, you know using this Mary I don't know Mary Doe whatever Okay, so now we can actually say uh, customers add object uh, customer one customers add object and uh, customers two. So we, we we added both the customers, and if we scroll down over here, you'll see the number of sections. So I'm just going to say number of section is one, and the number of rows in section. So we can actually say that this will be a customer's count. These will be the rows. Um, this is a cell or whatever. Uh, we can just gonna say cell identifier, whatever. And then you can simply configure the cell over here. You, uh, I think you can say cell label, either the label text or set label or whatever. There we go, text label, uh, set text, and then we can simply assign the text to it. Oh, why am I doing that? Let's see. Not sure why I did that. Okay, cell, text, label, and uh, set text. And then you can text, uh, okay, so we have to get that. So I'm just gonna say over here, customer.name. We don't really have the customer right now. So I'm just gonna get the customer, customer equal to this. And then uh, customers, uh, object at index path which will be the uh, index path row once again if you are not familiar what I'm doing right now I highly recommend that you go and watch previous videos where I covered uh, the UI table cell UI table view controller okay I think that should be good to go let's actually run this and see that uh, the customers are being displayed so here we go uh, John Doe and Mary Doe okay so at this point we have our, and actually one of more thing, let's see, here we go. So when I rotate this into a landscape mode, it automatically goes and hides the pop-up view controller and shows the, uh, you know, everything like these things uh, in a, you know, in a table format. Cool, right? Okay, so let's go over here. Um, let's make this up. See so you over here. What is that? All right. Okay. So one of the things that that is very very important is the communication between the. Oh, let me actually run it so that you'll have a much better idea. So one of the important things is also the communication between the, the master and the detail. Usually you will have things over here, let's say city names or person name. And when you click on that person or the city or whatever, the details are being displayed or populated over here in the, uh, you know, in the detail screen. Okay. So let's go ahead and see how we can do that uh, by the use of uh, delegates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a very simple delegate um, over here. I'm going to say protocol um, and the delegate will be, I'm just going to say customer delegate. And it will have only one method. It, it doesn't really return anything. And it's going to say did select customer. 
and a customer and then you can simply say customer okay what happened over here okay let's see so I have to add this class maybe okay so we have this okay we have the customer and um, what we are going to do is in in the over here there's a method like did select something right uh, did select row add blah 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 that's going to remove all of that stuff over here and this event is actually fired when someone selects a particular row in the UI table view controller so that is fired at that time and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just say selected customer it's pretty easy to get the value out of it customers and then you can simply say object at index path and uh, index path row so this will get you the customer which is selected and then self dot delegate okay so we don't really have the delegate over here right now um, oh yeah I forgot to actually include it over here so let's go ahead and create the delegate property non atomic and uh, unretained and if you're using iOS 5 only then you can use the weak references okay customer delegate and then we can say delegate let's go ahead into the implementation file and now synthesize this property that we just declared which is the delegate property so I'm just gonna say delegate over here and let's go down over here and then fire the event so I'm just gonna say self dot delegate and then what is the method like did select or something here we go and then we're just gonna pass the selected customer okay so this is going to fire the delegate and this is going to fire the event which is did select customer okay but there is no one listening to that event so it doesn't really matter so what we're going to do is we are going to go to the detail view controller and we are going to implement that delegate for the detail view controller I told you it's a long screencast right so I'm just gonna say we're here customer delegate and um, since it's declared in the master view controller I can do this um, now let's go ahead and uh, you know implement this delegate so the method was what uh, did select delegate or something did select customer okay and uh, I can say UI alert we just we just I mean not really going to populate anything but uh, once you get this you will have a much better idea right. in it with title um, title title will be selected customer message will be uh, I would say customer dot name delegate itself cancel a button title I'm just gonna say nil other button titles nil actually cancel button title we can just put it cancel and then we can say alert show okay so we're just popping up an alert message that uh, you know that the customer has been saved or something right so when I run this now and if I do a John Doe and Mary you can see that there's nothing going on and the reason is of course that we haven't actually attached the delegate to the details view delegate okay so we haven't told that who will be uh, watching for that event so if I go into the uh, app delegate we can actually hook it up over there okay and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply copy it and then explain what's going on it's a couple of lines it's not that hard let's see so I'm just going to copy it over here um, okay let's go ahead and import detail view controller and let's go ahead and import the master view controller I think that should do it so we already know until this point that the view controller dot delegate is setting up to the uh, to the uh, detail view controller because that is the last object so what is going on over here is that we get the this is simply a detail view controller so the trick uh, or the difficulty was in finding out the master view controller 
okay and if you just simply say uh, uh, split view controller dot view controller object at index zero it's not going to return you the master view controller because look at this split view controller what is that navigation controller right so navigation controller and this is a detail view controller they are at the same level so uh, I mean this is zero and this is one okay and this is not at in the same level this is a part of the navigation controller and so that is why we are actually going and finding the object that's index zero which will be a navigation controller and then we are saying that hey give me the top view controller which is the master view controller and once we get the master view controller we simply assign the delegate and uh, that's pretty much it so let's see if that works out so here we go so now it's uh, pretty you know uh, it shows that now it is being uh, fired and it is being uh, captured by the delegate event of the detail view controller and once you capture that you can simply update the interface you can even hide this uh, you know hide this or this is a pop up view controller and whatever you can do. So that's pretty much it. I hope you like this video uh, tutorial about using the UI split view controller um, in your applications. If you do, uh, I always appreciate the donations. So you can donate at PayPal, and uh, this is my PayPal, uh, you know, email address azamsharp at gmail dot com, and uh, thank you very much.